Hey there everybody, this is Potter Brony, and welcome to another wine reaction of Ruby. Okay, this time we have volume 6, episode number 8, Dead End. Alright, before we get into it, I uh, just got home, just saw Spider-Man into the Sp like, Spider-Verse movie. Fantastic, definitely recommend it. Uh, I think arguably now my favorite Spider-Man movie. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to get that out of the way. <clears throat> Has absolutely nothing to do with anything, but... Just wanted to say that. So, uh, let's just get this one started. As always, link in the description below. Be sure to support Rooster Teeth. And let's get it going in three, two, one, and go. All right. Come on! You didn't even hear us out. Our orders are clear. The Mistral Atlas border is. What closed. the hell kind of Please. outfit is that? Have a good day. But a good day. Hey, if you don't I said good me, day. I'm friends with Ironwood. General Ironwood. Yeah, Jimmy. General Ironwood. Then fine. But look, we have Weiss Schnee with us, and we're trying to get her home safely. A brooch. Oh, pull the Schnee card. What is up with these two? Very well. You may speak with our commanding officer. We will fetch her at once. Is it winter? <laughs> All right, this is a little too over the top. Kind of super weird. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. What's wrong? Well, I may know this commanding officer. That's good, isn't it? Uh, is if she's your winter? friend, then maybe she'd be more willing to help us. I wouldn't she didn't exactly say call French, us. since she knows. Friends? Acquaintances? Not quite. Colleagues? Warmer. Enemies? That's the one. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, yes, I come through here about once every ten years to get my eyes checked up in Atlas. You bring outside cashews on one flight, and suddenly you're placed on the additional screening list for life. You've got to be kidding me. Now, now, let's not give up hope yet. Maybe she's dead. Introducing special operative Caroline Cordovan. Mm -hmm. Which she devil? <laughs> yep, you two know each other. I see you've chosen larger contraband to smuggle this time. Oh, Cordo, you know they say time changes people, but I see you've still got that stick right up. Oh, oh Miss uh, <laughs> uh, Cordovan, uh, my name is Ruby Rose, and I was wondering if you would hear us out about. I've already heard what your other little friends had to say, Miss Rose. What are you doing back here? I thought I told you to leave! Uh, and I told you we wouldn't rest until you let us through! Nice to see you again as well. You civilians are clearly incapable of comprehending the importance of our mission here in Argus. So allow me to say this slowly with smaller words. This base, that relay tower, the very safety of Argus are all gifts from the glorious kingdom of Atlas. And it is my duty to uphold them, as only I have the wit and tenacity for such a task. Such wit! Such tenacity! Mm -hmm. Or maybe Atlas just wanted to get you as far from the kingdom as possible. <gasps> You're yeah. just like the rest of these Argus ingrates. This city wouldn't even be here if it weren't for our Elysian ancestors. And what do we get in return? The entire world is ready to put a knife to our throats. Please. We know your kingdom had nothing to do with the fall of Beacon. We were there. No one's happy about the Atlas borders or embargo, but I know General Ironwood is just worried. It's why we need to talk the to The general is no coward. Atlas is strong. She said worried, not if scared. If the kingdom's plan to make us their enemy, then so be it. Atlas will prevail. Atlas will you can prevail. worry. Do you guys seriously have to do that? Being scared. 
If Miss Schnee has truly come to her senses and wishes to return to her family, then of course the Atlas military will escort her home. But the kingdom will not be responsible for her friends of questionable character. What's that supposed to mean? Did you just look at Blake when you said that? Racist bitch. I don't like her. Oh yeah? Well, your face looks like a big dumb boot. Way to show her, Nora. Yep. Now that she's gone. I don't... Weiss, I told you we wouldn't leave your side for a second. We'll find a way to Atlas. Together. Hmm. So, where are we going now? Yeah, what's the plan? Well, he's going to get the drunk, plan. I assume. The plan just got shut on <clears throat> our face three times over. I'm going for a drink. Yep, that figures. Uncle Crow, I really think we should try and come up with something... ...together. What's his problem? Things it's not your fault we can't go on. If he's gonna be a jerk, then we'll just come up with something without him. I mean, we've got Ozpin with us. He usually knows what to do. Uh, you still haven't told them. What is it? John! You just told them. Everything we did was for nothing. That's not true. Really? Because it sure does sound like it. I am... If Salem can't be killed, then how are we supposed to win this? Wow. Great plan, everyone. Look, none of this is great, we know. But we're not the bad guys here. Are we sure about that? What? He's in your head, isn't he? Oh, you Sean. Know about misplaced this? anger. He didn't know any of it. How much longer can we even there trust it is. him? John! How do we even know it's really him? What if we've been talking to that liar this whole time? John! He has particular reason to not like Ozpin now, still, considering he probably still blames him for Is what happened with Piro. Are okay? I don't know! I think it would be best if we had some time to ourselves. <sighs> Shit's not looking good. People are... Maybe we could all use some space. Things are falling apart, and come on, please. Oh, where are you? You know, wow, those things are pretty durable. Avoid the yelling. Sorry, the others went to it's get nice garden. tonight. Why not go with them? Yard, whatever you want to call it. I don't know anything. What do I tell Jean and his team when we don't even have okay, a Okay, hey, uh, things just stopped Sometimes recording real quick. Osmond hasn't come back, so and even if up, did, I don't know if I can trust him. And there's always Jin, but we only have I saw a little bit of this before answer. I noticed it stopped recording. I feel like I'm letting everyone down. You know... You right don't give here. yourself enough credit. Oh, thanks. That wasn't a compliment. Uh, what? If I have to explain it to you, it'll just defeat the purpose. But if you're tired of not knowing anything, how about we discuss those eyes of yours? Oh, would that uh, be a good thing? Man, I would be honored. Sit back down for Pete's sake. Let's start with what you do know. Tell me. Uh, silver-eyed people are supposed to be legendary warriors, or something. Mm -hmm. And oh, the fact that she can begin, I turn give a half-cocked look or eyebrow-raised oh, eyebrow look. 
not half cock. But, Look, you know if I, I already mean. knew everything, I wouldn't be asking for help. Yelling. It's not your fault. I wasn't yelling, that was more power. I had my father to teach me. And even he didn't have all the answers. But what he told mm -hmm. me makes sense, given what I've seen. Was he a huntsman too? It wasn't really an official title back in his day. I only knew him as an old soldier and an excellent teacher. I never attended one of those fancy academies of yours, but I scored higher on the license exam than any other huntsman or huntress that day. Huh. He must have been proud. <laughs> he would have scolded me for showing off. He'd never been able to find much information about our abilities. Just legends of warriors whose eyes shone like mirrors, reflecting the light of the world onto darkness. He found so little, in fact, That's a nice way of putting that it. it made him cautious. How could such powerful bloodlines be so rare? Unless something was actively seeking to destroy them. Salem. Yep. I tried to keep my powers a secret, but as you know, it wasn't enough. I owe my life to my training and my semblance. At the end of the day, those are still your most powerful tools. What is your semblance? <laughs> Preflexes. A silly name I came up with. Preflex. Hard to explain, but I can sense everything better than most and... React to attacks almost before they happen. Combine that with yeah. my training and so kind of like Spidey sense. Hey, anyway, so it is related. Blind them. Not really, but or what I said them. at the beginning of the video. <laughs> and that's how you become the Grim Reaper. So, how do I laser beam monsters with my eyeballs? <laughs> First, you start Ow. thinking like that. I want you to think of all the times you've triggered your powers. What did those moments have in common? I w was scared and stressed. Is it emotional? Like unlocking a semblance? It's emotional, but more focused than that. Think. Mm -hmm. What is it you wanted? Protect your friends. I wanted to protect my friends. Precisely. Yep. It is the desire to preserve life which fuels the light inside you. And if Although, you mistake, Pyrrha, that was more of uh, just anger. Preservation is an extension of creation, or at the very there least, no really an enemy of anymore. destruction. The creatures of Grimm were made by the god of darkness, but your light comes from his brother. How do you know that? I always knew how to use the light. But never why okay. it only worked on the Grim. Then Jin showed us her vision. Were you paying attention? The God of Light. His eyes. He had silver. So wait. Okay. Did some of the gifts from Where the gods stick around? Well. And they took magic, but. The light will only work in the presence of Grim, meaning From the only most. practice you'll get will be a trial by fire. But what you can do is focus on creating a state of mind that you can tap into when you need right. it. So it only activates. Don't with think Grimm about your light as a means of destroying. Of I did hear that. But as a way to protect the people of Remnant. But that can't be right. Hmm. You said the light only reacts to Grimm, but I used it during our battle at Haven. It reacted to Cinder. Interesting. Perhaps there was something that you just weren't seeing? Ruby! No. Oh, hey! It reacted to Cinder, yeah, What's because of what she did, but... It's Oscar. Hang He's on. missing. I gotta think about that. So Oscar ran. Or is he just wandering the streets of uh, of the city here? Crap. 
notebook guard. Is that a reference to something? Let me know in the comments because I'm, of course, I'll probably have figured out by the time it's, uh, by the time this video posts. Those guards were supposed to be something. Uh, maybe I'm just missing the reference. Like, I could tell they're a reference to something, but what is it? <laughs> All right, so that was Ruby, volume six, episode number eight, Dead End. Uh, and yeah, they're at a dead end now. The Atlas people won't let them pass. Would only take uh, Weiss if she wants to go back to her family. Uh, so, gotta figure that out. Let's see. For a second there, I was expecting that I was going to see Winter, but whoever this little this little old lady is, I don't know. I don't like her. Ah, uh, let's see here. Okay, I'm thinking about it. They said it would only react to Grim. It works on Grim. Ah, uh, would only work around Grim. Ruby saying that it reacted to Cinder. Yeah, it reacted because of what she did to Cinder, but there was a big-ass Grim right there, so maybe that's something? I don't know. Maybe I'm just grasping at straws here, just spitballing, you know? Uh, hmm. Yeah, things aren't looking good. People are being driven apart with... Oscar left I don't know it, it feels like he probably just has to go think about some stuff but he's not safe alone he's still got Ozpin in him he's still a massive target uh, especially since the others Salem's lot know who he is now uh, let's see yeah, th things are falling apart with them, and tensions are mounting, everything is strained. Uh, Crow is just, I, I don't like seeing him, like, he's just so disillusioned now. You can see it, he's, like, giving up. Mainly because of, he lost complete faith in the person that he put all his faith in. That's got to be a hell of a blow, and... Yeah, I, I hope I hope they can pull out of their funk because this this unfortunately is what Salem would want Divi division. If they don't pull it together, then nothing's gonna work out. But that's why Ruby's there, and she's really good at that. So I hope she can smack some sense into everybody, like she did in a couple of ch couple of episodes ago. Uh, yeah, so, more stuff about the Silver Eyes, they are a gift from the gods, specifically the God of Light, uh, don't know where it's gonna go from there, it seems that not all the gifts of the gods were taken away, magic definitely was for most everybody, except for Salem still has it, and, uh, and Ozpin. At least a little bit left still in Oscar. Uh, yeah. So that was uh, just really kind of somber at the end there and a lot to think about. But I've rambled enough. I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. But I'm in this one here. Until next time. Take care.